I, I usually post about librarianship, but last week I had this experience that reminded me to be more careful about my bank accounts because I was almost scammed. So what happened is I have an account with Security Bank, but this is just my emergency fund. And I don't touch this account and I don't connect any mobile or online banking to this account. Last Monday, while I was working from home, I got a call around after lunchtime. There was a caller who claimed to be from Security Bank. According to her, meron daw rewards worth 5,000 pesos na i-deposit sa aking account. And she sounded so professional and it's as if you would really believe na tagabaan ko talaga siya. And she knew my name and asked for my account number. Binigay ko naman yung account number ko which I realized I shouldn't have. Then she kept on saying that there will be a code sent to me within one second that I should give to her in order for her to deposit these rewards. I received a text message, an OTP, and saying that someone is trying to log in in my online banking. And doon ako nagtaka kasi yung account ko na yon wala akong planong i-connect siya sa online banking kasi nga for emergency fund lang siya. And from that moment na nag-ask na siya for the OTP, nagtaka na ako because she said that she would deposit money. But why is it that someone is trying to log in in my online account? And when she asked for my OTP, doon ako nagsuspend siya. So I, I terminated the call. And good thing, I just gave her my account number. I didn't give her any more details. I immediately called the security bank customer service to report the number and the incident. Another thing, after I ended the call, mga 10 times pa siyang tumawag ulit. And that, to me, is quite suspicious na. And then, after a while, there's a new number that called me that looks like an official bank number. But I googled it and found out in a Reddit forum that this number has been used in many fraudulent transactions. When I reported it, pinacheck ko if there were any withdrawals in my account and pinablock ko na lang ang lahat ng online transactions in the account. I always thought of myself as someone savvy enough not to fall for this, but when she called me, she sounded so professional na akala mo talaga she's working in a bank. That time, parang medyo hindi ako nag-isip ng maayos, and I realized if there are any suspicious calls from unknown numbers, please don't answer them. The scammers are really getting sophisticated, and if you just listen to them, Parang makokonvince ka talaga. Good thing that I remembered that you shouldn't give banks your OTPs, your card numbers, your CVVs because they will never ask for this information. And I always read the reminders, the emails from banks to prevent account hacking or phishing. But at the moment, I didn't really think critically. So this is also a reminder to myself and to my viewers to really be careful about your accounts and don't give away any information to strangers you don't know. And if someone is calling you from an unknown number, it's better not to answer. I wish that I recorded the call because if you search for scams here on YouTube, there are a lot of people who have recorded these fraudulent callers. Kahit na tinawagan ko na yung customer service, I really went to the bank the next day just to check and update my passbook to check if there were no suspicious transactions. Hindi nagalaw yung account ko and I didn't give her any more details once I once I realized that this is not a real bank. And even then, parang nung gabi yon hindi ako makatulog. And even if hindi naman masyadong marami yung pera sa account na yun, I'm still scared kasi nga pinaghirapan mo rin yung pera na yun and it's for my emergency fund. But it's good that I don't have any one account because I applied for different accounts nung video hack. So just for a precaution, I applied in two other banks where I opened account just to have my money spread out and not in and not be in one account. So just in case someone hacks into one account, I still have money left. And I will just flash the numbers that called me just in case they call you. Then again, if you have any transactions with a bank, it's always best to transact through the bank branch or official channels and always be suspicious of links, of calls, that are not from the bank because there's really a lot of people who have ill intentions who want to get money easily and i was so kind of disappointed with myself that i fell for it or almost fell for it but then again 
it's it's not just in security bank i think this happens to all banks and this is just a reminder to be extra careful about our money especially if we are transacting online Thank you.